Hello, it's Thomas from VFX Rex, and I want to do something a little different this time. On um, the short film I'm working on, Worlds, I wanted to have a little bit of, don't forget to push the subscribe button and the bell notification and a thumbs up for this video. What was I saying anyway? Oh, Worlds has many creatures and environments in it, but it, I wanted it to have a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more layering to it. And what I did was I, um, I wanted to add a hominid type creature to this. So something a little bit smarter than like a monster. So I'm going to go ahead and start to do a sketch of that. And hopefully it turns out good. So I'm using Photoshop. I'm using grut brushes and I'm doing this on a Microsoft surface okay and you can see that unfortunately there's like a lag it's pretty cool but there's a lag and I hope I don't get that the whole way through on this but it also could be the brush so I'm going to try some different brushes and see if that improves anything but it may be what I'm dealing with that one seems a little quicker. So actually I'm gonna start another layer with this brush and see how that works. So it's supposed to be touch sensitive, but um, I find it difficult to get a light colored line. Let's try some other brushes. I wanna have a, it's just either on or off. The thickness is controlled, but not the line weight or the the darkness. I think that one actually does it. So let me just try this. Um, let's see. I'm trying to do this kind of like it's on the alien world, so it's certainly not from Earth. It's an alien thing. And I got this idea for this, this a little bit like the grays, but, but a little different. So let's see if it takes it somewhere else. And I was thinking that many of the creatures on uh, worlds are um, sort of insect-like. And this is so far the most humanoid. And I was thinking, what do they look like um, as something more intelligent? But not, I'm trying to get something that doesn't look super intelligent. And I thought of giving them these kind of dinosaur legs. And if I mess this up, I'll have to go ahead and just fix it. But I'm going to just draw this for now. And um, and he has a little bit of dinosaur, like, you know, he's got the three joints. And uh, I've seen other designers do um, do the, the, the legs in some pretty bizarre folding positions, which is cool because it looks alien. But I'm just going to keep this somewhat... Um, normal looking more or less and I'm gonna give him a little bit of a tail okay and um, it's kind of being held high on this one and originally I had this idea that it had something on it but although that would look like he's a water creature so I wasn't sure about that fin but I'll put it for now okay and then I'm actually gonna go to another layer <clears throat> because the tail is behind and I don't want to put it on the same layer so like and by the way this is like this must be when he's taking a, he or she I guess uh, he's taking a look because normally they don't I don't think they stand up quite as tall as this um, it could be more of a like a it crouches down a bit almost like a little bit like a spider monkey type deal um, but okay, so he's got these kind of long arms and, and I'm gonna give him sort of, I'll have to refine this later, but he's got kind of long fingers too. And he's pretty skinny, um, kind of like a gray. And let's sort of block it in. Hopefully I'm getting my proportions right from one side to the other. I didn't use any mirror tools, which actually I've never used yet in Photoshop. Um, so I got to learn to use that. I actually haven't done it yet. So I have to figure out how to use the mirror tool to make 
something that's the same on both sides. But for now, I'll raise his arm. And he looks pretty creepy right now, but I don't want the creature to look creepy when it's done. I want it to look like just a living creature. And it's not an evil creature. It's um, it's just a kind of like a, almost like a early man type concept, but it's an insect-like thing. But it's, I want him to feel like, um, you know, they should be advancing more. But it's difficult because they live on this pretty drastic world, really. So I'm not sure. I think the proportions are decent on this. And I'm just going to proceed forward. Hopefully it all works out. Um, and I haven't worked ahead. I don't want it just to be just a gray. I want it to look a bit more insect-like. And... Um, so let's see what happens with that. Um, and I can always merge the layers if I'm I'm kind of ready to do that. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make another layer for the more details. And I'm just gonna check something on uh, the Facebook site. As a, again, don't forget to subscribe um, to this channel. Thumbs up. Now this is an earlier sketch I did. Um, which I'm pretty happy with, but it's real. It's really loose. So um, I gave him a longer tail on this last one. Maybe I'll shorten it. Um, he's got definitely like a little bit of a insect face, but gray, kind of like a gray. And this was an earlier sketch that's the other one came from. And then um, I did this, which is more human-like, and I kind of like that too. That and that's possible that he starts to get more intelligent looking but right now he's got this kind of look so let me keep going here so what i'm going to do next is make the brush a little larger and i'm on a different layer and i'm just gonna kind of begin to put some shading and i don't know why but i tend to like a rim light where the the light kind of comes from around the the corner and i'm going to build up that rim light after i've set in this initial shading um, I just kind of want to get a feeling and I'm pushing the uh, the bracket tools underneath the plus and minus to control the size of the brush so I can make it a little smaller or larger using that those bracket tools and I just interactively click it to, to change the scale on the bracket uh, tools and it, and it makes the, uh, the brush you can see gets larger and smaller. So I'm going to do just like the, sh the shading on the arm first and the, and the body, everything. I'm going to just sort of shade it. And after I'm done with the shading, I will do the, um, the, the like, probably the shadows and then the highlights. But right now I'm just sort of blocking it in. And he's got a light coming from like back here somewhere. So he's kind of, um, and I want to kind of be a little bit more gentle pushing down on this side because it's the bounce light. So there's a little bit of light filling that in, but over here it's a little darker on the edge. So you got you got like that three light system like um, going on here with them. Let's see, and let's darken that. It's mostly in the shadow of his body because the lighting's from behind. And um, Let's see. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you um, if you like what you see on Worlds, if you like what you see on Worlds, you can always uh, get involved if you want. Uh, my hope is that this goes as far as it can go. Um, video games, um, even a motion picture feature. Um, I hope it goes all the way. Um, it's it's going to be all about these alien lives on different planets because we have this near infinite universe. It really is infinite. And so I thought of this idea of of uh, world's life in the infinite universe. So it's just going to be kind of like a mix of a, originally it was going to be kind of like a mix of a, um, of like a documentary on alien life almost. But then I started thinking, well, maybe it's better if it has a whole story. And this is like a story with characters and stuff. So it kind of has to be 
still worked out exactly what it is, but um, I have some ideas going on for the um, for the story type thing. Um, so let me push save in case there's a crash. And let's see. And I have these different. This drive here has to be emptied. Um, I'm going to save it on my laptop. It's another machine. And uh, my projects, worlds. Um, alien planet. And I'm just going to do it here and say um, hum in id. Okay. And then I can go reference. Or I'm going to say concepts. Okay. And say hominid zero one zero zero one. Okay. And um, yeah, that's coming along. And if I want to do something with the background, I can go back there, add another layer, get very large on this. Let's see if this works. Probably slow way down, but let's see if it maybe put a little little shadow so that when I put the rim light, it's gonna show that even better. It got a little darker than I wanted it to. But let's see where it takes us. That's what art's all about. Um, Actually, let me go, let me put another layer and a lighter color, okay? And I'm going to use the eye drop and grab that color. Actually, no, I'll just use this. So I'm going to use this color here and uh, add the swatches, yes. Um, background tan TD, okay? But here I'm going to lighten it. I think I'm going to lighten it. Did that crash it? Saving that little file crashed it. Crash Photoshop. Oh boy. Did it crash? What is going on now? Oh gosh, right in the middle of the... What is all this? Um, I'm going to push pause. Okay, I'm back again. Um, it appears that Photoshop did crash. So I had to restart it. I, I lost a little bit of work. You can see the background painting um, that got lost. So I'll have to redo that right now. And it also seemed to have kind of lost which brush I was on, but so now I got a slightly different brush. I hope it does the proper look I'm after. Um, okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted for the background or for my painting at all. And that's the thing that kind of was a little upsetting is when it, when when um, Photoshop crashed, I lost the brush I was on. So now it's like just grab any brush, but it's going to look different. Um, so that didn't wasn't the best. Now it's wasting time again too. And I have no idea why it crashed just because I asked to save the file. Oh gosh, I guess I'm going to have to be kind of stuck with this because I don't know what happened to my, was it Pelican? Was that it? Anyway, we don't know. So let me try to paint in again. It looks a little different. Actually, I think I had that and I grabbed a different one, but let me see. So how does this look? So how it looks. This is the one that was really slow. Uh, 
Should have written down the brush, I guess. Who knows it's going to crash. Um, thank you for your patience during this. Uh, I can't believe Photoshop went down and now I'm trying to find the brush and I can't. More time wasted. Okay, another try at this. Let's see if we get it this time. That crash really messed up everything, really, to be honest. That Photoshop crash. Um, I don't even remember what caused the crash. I was saving something, and it just went down. So I'm just going to try to, like, bring something into the background here. It looks a little weird. It looked better before, I know that. And I don't remember what brush it is, so there you go. There's Photoshop for you. Crash, lock up. Let's see. There you go. Let's make another layer and we'll put um, opacity down a little. And I'm going to just put in like a little bit of like a highlight area as well. Not just the dark, but give, give it a little bit of tonal difference there. And um, I can tone down this other one. It looks a little, a little hot. A little dark yeah there you go and also this one maybe um, take that down a little okay so let's get back on the creature design um, I'm going to let's see change colors up a little bit going to go with a bluish and see how that looks. Um, okay, we'll just get a little closer. Oh boy, it makes me upset. I lost my brushes. Oh well. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, I wanted to do the... Let's see, I'll just put a little highlight on this. Okay, I'm sorry about the many interruptions on this video. Um, I'm just going to try some highlights on the character. Although normally I would probably go into the dark areas now. I would go from, from the medium, which is on the medium, to the dark. But I'm just going to just try this. So I'm just going to put it like a little blue. And I can change this color later or do different things with it. Um, you know, and I'm having a little bit of trouble on the, like the pressure. It's like even when I just barely touch it, it's still leaving more behind than I wanted. But it's okay. So let's just let's see. Proceed forward, and I'm just making this a little bit rough right now, but having a little fun with it. And um, he's kind of got this like rim light effect coming from behind. A little bit on the jaw. Let's see his tail. And this was crazy with his hand up, but I just did it just to give it a little bit of a different look than just the hanging sort of T-pose almost. But maybe that would have looked more ominous, which I'm actually trying not to get it too ominous because he's not actually a, a, a scary monster, although he might not also always be nice. And uh, not all animals are all, or any creatures are always nice, even as we've seen in the news and stuff, humans. So, and if threatened, he's going to try to 
do the right thing to save himself. Let's see, where's the brush again? It's called, I can't even see that, Fiji Blow. What a strange name for a brush. These are the Grut brushes, and I really love the Grut brushes, except they have a very strange name to the brushes. It should say, like, pastel medium or something. It's like, what is these crazy names? It's hard to remember which brush is which. In my opinion, let's see, make it a little bigger, just do this little kind of fall off. And then, the wheel roller doesn't seem to be controlling the zoom in and out like I thought it would. Smaller. Thank goodness for the undo. Um, highlight that arm a little better. And he's pretty skinny. Pretty skinny, really. Um, and usually what I do is I just sort of build it up. So it starts kind of like this, and it could end like this. It's just kind of like a sketchy picture that I do. But other times you just keep going and going and going, adding more and more details until it looks, um, you know, more, more and more descriptive, perhaps more and more detail, more realistic. And I'm sort of enjoying the, um, the digital painting with the uh, grut, grut brushes in uh, Photoshop. And it's looking pretty cool, I think. Um, that's actually pretty cool. And then um, maybe this could actually come up a little bit. I brought down the... Okay, so let's go, let's push control uh, save okay so let me go to another layer um, look at that that's the main sort of body so now I'm gonna go on a layer just above that and I want to do kind of like a little bit of the shaded areas so we did the highlights now let me try some shaded areas And then this sort of becomes this question of how detailed should we go with it? Just keep it kind of loose or do we go all the way realistic? Let's say, there we go. Yeah, it, it has a pretty painterly look, or like a, a traditional art look. And it's digital. And I kind of like that. It's pretty cool that it gets that pretty, pretty close. Um, And I'm still sort of working out how he's gonna look exactly, but I wanted it to have sort of like this insect appearance. So he fits into his insect world that he mostly lives in. It's a hassle when you're kind of like the most advanced creature there and all these other creatures are smashing around that are just brutes. And it's hard to get established with the brutes around. This is unbelievable. I keep pushing pen. Shortcuts from heck. Um,
Let's see, I'm going to use my little eraser. I think it just got a little thick in some areas here. I'm just gonna put the eyes in. Okay. This is one of those cringe moments when you're painting, you're like, oh, I hope I don't mess his face up. And it's unfortunate, but I probably could because I don't yet know exactly how I wanna make his face look. So it's not good to have kind of no plan. I have a vague plan, but I don't have a solid plan. How I want them to actually look. So I figure these are kind of like bug eyes a little bit, insect eyes. But they got that sort of gray almond shape going on. Excuse me. I'm not sure about that shape. What did I do on this one? I kind of liked the eye on this one over here. Curve on the front, kind of, okay. It's somewhat similar. Okay, let's see how this looks. This is subject to change. I certainly gave it more angles than, uh, than a gray, but it isn't a gray. It just kind of looks similar. And I did some other stuff on the uh, drawings here. This one's sort of humanoid. This one here I thought maybe has some joints on its face. It almost looks like it has like some moving parts around the mouth. So I'll put a little mouth line in. It's got this little V-shaped frown. And I think he's got like a, almost like a insect-like pincher that comes to the jaw that can open. When you get this close, he looks furry, but that's yes, that's paintbrush. Let me put another layer. Oh gosh. Let's put this layer above the others. Pen again. The pen. Looks a little like sun shades. He's too cool for school. That might have to change, but he's too cool for school. Um, 
I'll fix this later. I just want to sort of get something blocked in. Use some of this highlight area. Let's give them a little bit of shoot. You know, this is something that I'm calling a uh, concept design. So I'm sort of just thinking this up on the fly right now. I mean, I did some previous sketches, but a lot of this I'm just sort of trying to figure out on the on the drawing board. This isn't necessarily it, but this is one possibility, or it's an influence on something else that I can put together. Um, by the way, um, Miguel Del Rio helped out um, by building the some of the flying creatures, and I think I'm gonna. He's expressed interest in uh, continuing on the project uh, called Worlds. So I'm try. I'm actually building up these um, designs that that hopefully he can he can use. Um, as like a concept design because he's actually gonna build the model and I'm not sure if it will turn out exactly like this hopefully it it keeps the essence of what's going on here um, but even this is subject to change I'm just sort of trying to figure it out what this creature should look like and uh, it seems like a little bit trickier um, sometimes to, uh, to build like a not monster creature than it is to build a monster. Um, you know, to build something that looks somewhat peaceful is sometimes a little bit more of a challenge than the scary one. Okay, and I'm wondering if Photoshop just did it again. So it looks like a good time to uh, pause the video, although I was hoping to take the face a little further, but it looks like um, I lost more time. It looks like um, Photoshop crashed again. So don't forget to uh, save often. Um, and don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video.